What's going on guys? CV Snakes back with another video. And today I'm actually going to do a another AIO bot tutorial, but uh this actually isn't for a specific release. This is for all general releases. It's just a beginner's guide. Uh I'm going to try going over everything that you just need to know if you just got the bot. Maybe if you've already had the bot, I could still teach you some things, but this is by far what I know just for the bot, but all right, so here's the interface for the bot. Once you get it, this is it right now. Uh, the blue tint easies came out, so the tabs up right now into how to set it up. But hey, there will probably be a new shoe, whatever's coming out that you need to get. Tab will probably be right here. But all right, so first, if you click on configure, you just have settings. I mean, I don't, you don't need to do that. Deactivate deactivates the bot, uh, like your software, your activation code proxies all right i'll be going over that later and then manage billing is where you put your like credit card and stuff i'm not going to click on it because then it's going to uh, show my credit card information but yeah that's where, just where you put your credit card information that's what's going to be auto filled so if you click on help check for updates it's going to check for updates it's going to click over here and re refresh it says i have the latest version so we're good there uh extend your update period uh that's just like down here aio doesn't give you because the foot sites and websites change their ways of stopping bots like of course they don't like bots so they got to find out ways to stop, uh, stop it so the bot will update to like get passed around that so you do need this I mean the bot will still work but it might not do the same thing as it would as an updater version and uh, get keywords and early links now this is important because this is where you're going to get literally everything you need whatever website like uh, as you see, the Easy's, Champs, East Bay, Foot Action, Foot Locker, etc. Uh, so, when there is a release, say the blue tints were coming out, all you do is click on it. Let's say I wanted to go Foot Locker, click on it, add to input. It's going to put the link down right here. This is what you need to get the shoe. Like, that's it. It's, it's just going to be up here. So, if you click on Help, again, uh, Help Desk, that's probably just like support. Uh, ask a question, support, support. Uh, the website status is probably if like the bot is down or something. And then here goes the tutorials. Like these are HMAC Destroyer, Adidas. It's just tutorials on how to use these things. I don't really use any of these other than Captcha, and it's really simple. Uh, show added shoe list. This is where you click on it, and whatever shoes get added to cart or checked out, it's going to be a list here and you can tweet it or whatever you want to do with it but that's it right there uh, tools the only thing that I think you're going to need or at least that I use is the capture solver so let's say we're on adidas and we know adidas uses captcha so we have this we're going to have this like around here somewhere next to our bot probably have it set up like this and it's going to read right here that you need to start solving captures then you click on this and just start solving them but right now it's a one click so them are the easy ones but yeah so that's that uh... i don't think adidas hmac destroyer that's just i don't know what happened to it it was something that bypassed the splash page like it's just its own little bot itself and it's either a hit or a miss and i mean for some reason something happened to it and adidas stopped it so don't use it right now it's kind of just broken it you just be wasting your proxies by doing it uh i don't have the uh here's the manual but i don't have the supreme bot so if you did have it you can click this and it'll give it to you but i don't have it so it's not going to pop up aio upgrades this is just like upgrading your uh they have like servers their own bots but I don't really recommend that stuff. I mean, you can still do it. It's still going to work. But, yeah, and then, like I said, this is the tab for whatever shoes are coming out or whatever. It's, go it's going to be different, whatever is hot that's coming out and stuff. Uh, So, yeah. So, here's the uh site account. So, think of this as, like, your own, like, little task. Like, think of a task as a robot. So, you're going to, let's say, Easy Supply. We want uh, tasks to be using Easy Supply. Now, these are all the list of guest accounts, which is this, that can't be produced per site. So, like, these sites can't use guest accounts, but Easy Supply isn't up there. So, we're good. We can use Easy Supply. So, you put XXX in here, and let's say I want a size 10. 
and of course isn't it so we're going to clear that out and we're going to go to help get keywords in early links and let's find easy supply click on that add to input and it's going to be up that's just it you just need a site because all they're going to have is a shoe up there so it's really easy <clears throat> all right so what you need to do is get proxies now I'm not going to click on these because then it's going to leak the proxies but basically what a proxy is is it's something that covers up your IP your IP address is like this computer right here is on my Wi-Fi signal which has an IP address so if I was running the bot and had 10 tasks going for one website they're going to know I'm using a bot and they're going to ban the IP address whether it's easy supply or Adidas easy supply bans you for like a couple minutes it says sometimes it'd be like five to ten minutes and then you got stores like Adidas that will ban you forever because of course they don't like that so they're not gonna give you any second chance for using a bot so make sure you have proxies if you want like multiple tasks so what you do is let's say you have proxies uh, I'm just gonna name it test and normal proxies are like Yeezy Supply only uses normal proxies. Anything else like Foot Action, Foot Locker uses monitor proxies. So 75%, well, it's 80%, but 70, you can do 75 to 80, depending on if you have an odd or even number of ta uh, proxies. So what you need to do is you go to anyone to get proxies. I don't recommend like buying them cheap because if you buy them cheap, there's a reason they're cheap and you're just not going like you need fast, fast proxies to connect to the uh, website server so what you need to do is go somewhere buy proxies you're going to get a list from someone uh, I'm not going to really recommend any proxies I mean if you comment and ask me like do I know about a proxy uh, provider I'll tell you and like let you know if they're legit or not but usually you just look on Twitter and see if people like got what they said they did and stuff but so what you want to do is let's say I, I want let's say we're just going on adidas and I have like 25 proxies well so we'd want 20 uh, normal so 20 to just normal proxies all they do is like get the shoe for you and so let's say we have like like 20 things in here like you'll copy and paste your proxy list in here it's just going to be all the way down here and you're going to go down here to adidas and just check mark it check mark whatever site you're doing i don't recommend doing all sites i don't know why but i just don't recommend it because then it might mess up your proxies because it's going to be going for literally every site and it might slow down the ping time so just have your proxies and then you're just going to click save of course there's not uh any proxy in there so it's not going to work but then for so we have 20 normal proxies now we need five monitors so uh, we're just going to name a test go down here to monitor and let's say we put our five things in there it's going to be Adidas save of course you're not going to save but let's say it is saved and then you're going to have your two lists here so let's say that's one of the lists make sure it's enabled don't don't have everything enabled like make sure however many tasks you're running you have that same amount of the proxies uh, enabled because then it's just going to get all messed up. You might have too many tasks running a pr or too many proxies running a task and you're just wasting them. So once you have your proxies, then you can start creating the uh, add in the thing. So you're going to add it, you're going to right click, manage billing, and it's going to pop up this and you just add that to the account. Add your credit card to the account. And then you come down here to create task. Now for easy supply, it's a random time, so you gotta stay up all night and just be ready for it. But let's say it was coming out, uh, all you would do is hit start all task, and it's gonna start and go for the shoe. Now a faster way to create it is just go to mass create. Uh, let's go down to easy supply. You're gonna click ten, and we can literally duplicate the task so we have 10 of them put whatever billing profile you want on it and then the early link of course is the link where uh, the website is so we don't have it right now because I don't know why they don't let you add it but 
uh, we'd have to exit out, but we can still do this. Just add this. And then if you come down here, you can edit them. So then we can just copy it, the link, hit keep control clicked, and just let's say I just got all these. And you just go masquerade, and then it will add the link to it. So now it's there. And then we can create all these tasks, and now they're all up here. And we're ready to go, and you just hit start all tasks. Now, another thing, a part of a bot is called a server. Uh, I don't personally use servers. I tried it once and it ended up messing me up because a server is basically like another computer, but it's running on your computer. And it's a IP address that is closer to the server of the website. So like think of it as like you living in California where the servers to Adidas are you're going to have a much faster uh frame time than someone living in Cali uh like Texas or something who knows just farther than what it is so it literally just like makes it seem like you're there so you have a faster time and yes it does help but it can get a little confusing uh i can do a tutorial in the future uh, i don't know if i will or not but it it is easy to set up it's not that hard it's kind of self-explanatory but all you have to do is set up a server and then download your bot on there and you'll be alright and ready to go but yeah this is just a basic tutorial uh, if you guys have any questions just comment them down in the comment section I'll be back I'll get back to you but yeah this is a basic tutorial of AIO uh, if you have any questions just comment it down in the comment section I'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, this is CV Sneaks back with another video. Thanks for watching.